Hello my friends, hello Photoshop lovers. Welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop design series. In this video, I'll be showing you how I created this hangout flyer or poster inside of Photoshop. If you've not gotten your Smart Designer Premium asset, it's still very much available. Don't miss out on the PNG files, the text files, and also the backgrounds, and also the flyer templates included in this package. And also various flyer templates are in the description of this video for Photoshop and Color Draw. Kindly check the description of this video so you don't miss out on these amazing goodies. If you've not subscribed, now is the right time to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to always like and share my videos. Without having to say much, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do here is click on File and click on New. So I'm going to use in the size 4x5. So 4x5. Now, I'm just going to give you the name here. So it's going to be pool party flyer like this. So resolution stays at 300, color mode RGB, and everything stays the same like we've done in our previous videos. So the first thing, click on adjustment layer, click on solid color like this. And I'm going to use a white color for the base color. But I'm going to change this later on. Right? So. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to resource file. The link for this resource file is also in the description of this video. So you don't want to miss that part. So I'm just going to bring this in, move it up a little bit like this. And I'm going to use my brush to blend. So create a mask like this. Selecting the mask, go over to your brush. Right? So select the brush. B for brush. And... Um, I'm just going to remove this part here like this. So it's remaining in the sky. Right. So uh, you can see that nicely done. So I have a good blend between the image and the background. So I'm going to sample the color from the sky and use it for the background. Right. So that's what I just did. Right. So I have that going on there. What I'm going to do next is I'm going back to where my source file, bring in this image happy people and i'm going to have it here well it's not going to be this big i'm going to reduce the size just like this All right so like this is cool so i'm going to um, click on the mask click on make sure i click on the image and um, click on the image and click on the mask like this right so with your brush selected make sure the brush you're using is the soft round pressure opacity and flow right so i'm just going to make my brush smaller by using the brackets the bracket key close to the p that's what i'm using the letter p on your keyboard so i'm just going to um reduce the brush and um, get rid of these areas here just so i have a smooth blend between the image and every other element existing already in the design so i'm going to create a new layer above the sky and i'm going to my brush selected make sure your color is white and i'm going to paint in some white areas here right so i'm just going to create this nice white feel here so i'm going to conceal some areas in the image that i didn't do well in the first time just so I have a perfect composition here. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is go over to your resource file. And I'm going to bring in this palm. Right? You can get all of these things inside of your premium asset. Right? So you can get all of these things inside of your what? Premium asset. So if you've not gotten yours, now is the best time to get yours. Right? So I'm just going to bring this in. Click enter. I'm going to duplicate this right ctrl t and i'm going to right click and click on flip horizontal right it's going to flip it horizontal that way so we have something like this here okay so more like mirroring the palm so yes you're welcome so i'm going to uh, ctrl t this and rotate it just a bit so it's not the same thing as what we have over there and um, I'm cool with this. So I'll leave this here. 
I'm also going to make this a little bit smaller like this and I'm going to position this here right um, that out of the way I'm going over to my text I had it typed out to not waste so much time on this video so I have a pool hang out right great so um, I have this also the font that I use is also included in the premium designer smart assets right so you can get that inside too just search for Akira expanded or you can use stretch pro right to get this so I'm going to have this here the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to bring in some other elements move my text up a little bit so that I have space between the text and the whites move the white up a little bit to have a perfect blend then I'm going to go on to um, I'm going inside okay what I want to use is inside the smart designer assets so premium PNG when you open this up you're going to see so many PNG images here you can see you have a lot of them right so I'm just going to sort things out here so I can get the image that I want right so these are some of the things that you get inside of the smart designer program assets so I'm going to select um, these like this you can see that you have a whole lot of things here so I'm just going to be selecting any of these guys here so I'm going to start with this drag and drop I'm just going to position this here it's a pool balloon right so I'm just having this here of course I'm just going to place it in places that I want it to be Okay, so I'm just going over to bring in the last one, which is this one here. And I'm going to position this here like this. And reduce the size like this. Put this here. Somewhere here is nice and good. Make a duplicate copy of this guy here and bring it here. Ctrl T and make this smaller. Right, because you have a bigger version there and i'm just going to have this here so i'm going to make this one bigger like this and um, click enter when you're done and also i'm going to rotate this and uh, make it slightly bigger somewhere around here is good so click enter when you're done and you have your text your images and all the elements together right so now it's time to make some adjustments so click on adjustments and select um color balance right so you can copy my settings here i'm going to tilt towards the cyan and the blues using my mid-tones I'm going to go over to highlights and I'm also going to add a touch of blue and also a little bit of cyan, not too much, like this. And, um, okay. So, Ctrl Alt E and Shift. To make a snapshot convert this to a smart object and i'm just going to go over to noise and um, add a little bit of noise to it to give it this effect so click ok when you're done and at the end of it you have this result 
all right guys if you've not subscribed to my channel now is the best time to subscribe to my channel make sure you also turn on the post notification so that you miss any videos i'll be dropping i'll see you in the next video just above here